It started out as a simple demo flight in Piper's new M600 SLS. Suddenly the pilot passes out. Okay, he's just faking it. I reach up and push the auto land button. Emergency auto land activated. The emergency auto land system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. Avoid touching the flight controls which may interfere with auto land. Your destination is shown on the bottom of the left and right displays. Your estimated time to landing is shown on the top of all three displays. Emergency Autoland has already informed air traffic control of your situation. It's done more than that. So when you select that button, it is going to go through a slew of considerations as it relates to selecting that most optimal airport. It'll include your weather en route, the weather at the destination airport, terrain obstacles. It even has the ability to forecast weather. So if there's a line of storms approaching the airport and it thinks or it's forecasting mm -hmm. that that line is going to be over the airport at your estimated time of arrival, it'll choose a different airport. Autoland will change the speed. Did it change speeds? What, what, what speed were we doing? And did it go faster It was faster about 170 and now it's doing back, 200. So it's hoofing back to, the, to get you to an airport quickly. Yep. So and again, as it makes this turn, if it, it's now within the defined parameters of speed, altitude, or course, then we'll enter the holding pattern. Okay. And what approach is this? Uh, uh, the RNAV 1-8 approach. One turn around the hold to slow down and... Your airplane has begun maneuvering into position for the final approach to landing. The emergency auto land system so is controlling all flight functions. You won't need to do anything. Ensure your seatbelt is tight. Autoland drops the gear, adds approach flaps, and... Wind zero, nine or zero at one zero. The file's coming back. I've gone to the flare and decrab. Kicks out the crab just before touchdown. Steers back to the center line and then stops. Wait for aircraft and propeller to stop before exiting the aircraft. Through it all, Autoland has kept the passengers informed. When we first started, the system was pretty text heavy and a lot of, uh, a lot of prompts and things that weren't all that uh, intuitive and since then we've really made it more simple and really simplified what needs to be uh, what needs to be done with, and really make it reassuring and soothing for the uh, for the passengers. Autoland is Garmin's newest automated flight technology. Building block technology is coming into play. Each time we got a little bit closer we did things like emergency descent mode, ESP, then we had auto throttle for example in the Citation 10 Plus you put all these things together and you realize, hey, the convergence of all these things have come together and allow us to do this function now. Autoland will be standard on the Piper M600 SLS. Soon it'll be available on the Cirrus Vision Jet, both projects awaiting certification. Complements the overall Cirrus safety systems just so well. If anything bad hat or anything uh, mechanically fails with the airplane, uh, we have the CAP system. Two, if anything now happens to the pilot, you have the safe return Garmin Autoland system that will bring the airplane to the ground. Garmin intends to bring this new technology to a lot of different airplanes. And there's ways you can scale this technology both up and down. It's a small single engine airplane fixed gear, it should be there as well. So our, our job is to proliferate it. And Autoland has been more than a product for the 100 Garmin engineers, software developers, and pilots who've been working on this for the past eight years. It's very important to us to have uh, tools to help get our passengers and everyone home safely, but also just that responsibility as a pilot when you're flying to make sure that your cargo, which is your friends and family, get home safely. Tom Haynes, AOPA Live.